can also do uh, blocks. They would just want to do a code block like this. So you could put in four dashes and end with four dashes. So not everything inside of here is a code block. You could also wrap this with the source. And now it becomes a source block. So if we put in a bunch of code in here, and if we had the code plugin, it would actually convert this to a, a colored syntax. We could also do a sidebar block, and that is this. That's going to be with asterisks one, two, three, four. And then in here, this is a sidebar block. And as you can see here, it's like a note card in HTML. So we have our title and then we have our paragraph code. We can also do an example block. Now here's something that's interesting. So here we have our option title. So we have example one, option title. So here's our example and our block. So here's the code here. It's written inside of here. But we did example one, option title, because we're using our equals, for our example block. Uh, you can also do comments. Comments look like this. So it's four forward slashes and n for forward slashes. If you come over here, you see we don't have the text. All right, say we wanted to insert some HTML code or some markup languages, we would use four pluses and close four pluses. And then inside of here, you can put in your HTML code. So say you want to insert a HTML table. You have to make sure you close your tags correctly. So if we come down here, here's our markup. So we have H HTML table. We have table border one, one row with two columns. We can also add a quote. And so quote looks like this. So you start out, <coughs> sorry, with the brackets specifying the parameters that you're going to pass in for the quote 
the city author and the source. And then you're gonna pass in, your, or put in your text. You follow it with underscores. And you have your quote, block, use city, somebody. Come over here and look. Use, cite somebody, cite source, cite author. All right, so for text in HTML, if we're using the paragraph tag and we wanted to break the line up without using the pre-format, uh, we would have to use the BR tag. So in ASCII code, it looks something like this. I'm forced. Hit enter, and now it forces the line break. Now, if you see, if I don't hit enter, it stays on one line. If I remove the plus, it stays on one line. That's how you force a line. Now, for our different types of formatting, so instead of using style sheets uh, or the old bold underline or italic tags, you use something like this. So normal text, you just type. If you want to italicize your text, underscore in front of it. And N with an underscore. Over here and look at our text. Normal, italicized. We want to bold, do asterisk. Close it. It becomes bold. And if you want to do mono text, start with a plus. And mono. Now we have our code block. Uh, let's see, double quotes and single quotes. Instead of escaping them, it's kind of like the old, uh, how we have to escape it for uh, SQL. So for double quote, it's two apostrophes. Apostrophes, oops, sorry. This is actually quote, and quote. But it actually uh, represents it correctly. And same with single quotes. But for single quotes, we have to actually use two single quotes. Let's see what else we have. Uh, oh, um, super and sub. So you can actually do like x squared. So we can do x base. Here, the second power. Go look over here, x squared. And say we want to do like log and then do a sub, so log n, like this. You could actually do command line text. 
So for that, it would be single quote, like ls dash la. It italicizes it and formats it so that you know it's command line. You can combine formats. So just like the old, old italic, then you have to close italic, close bold. All you have to do is click italis, hello there, add a mixed, and then end your house. <clears throat> oh, no space at the end. There we go. So as you can see, you have to get used to your not adding spaces between things because it is a little touchy. Once I add that, that's what that means. Okay, so we have mono bold. We could do paths. Uh, you could do colors. Here's a sample of one. You can do red, pound red. Type in your text or put your text inside your pounds. Your yellow. Got big, and we have red, yellow, red and yellow. Okay, so we have red text on yellow, large, and all bold. And if we wanted to separate these, plus. Come back over and look. Uh, let's see, we can add copyrights, trademarks, uh, special formatting, just like you can with HTML. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of like Word. So copyright is just C, R, trademark, other formatting. So you can do dash dash, solid uh, dash. Three dots gets converted to the three dots, arrows, equal than arrow, greater than arrow. And you can also do a uh, special character, ASCII characters. If you want to put in a horizontal line, it's four hyphens. And now we have a break. We can also escape. So if we want to actually show the underscores, the pluses, uh, you just do the escape. So nothing new. Uh, if we want to do anchors, or we can link to an anchor. Looks like this. We have two square brackets and ending square brackets. So 
let's do this. Let's stick in. All right, so here's an example with anchors. So I have my starting anchor. I have added another anchor, anchor two. And then here, if I click the anchor links, it will jump down to here. Anchor two, jump to here. And then all I have to use is a single bracket to add the links. Minimize this a little bit. So here we have paragraph block one. Block two, I'll jump you to here. I'll jump you to here. Like an anchor, first anchor, documents, and then you can add in links. So you can see this is fairly readable just in text. And then when it gets converted, looks at like whatever format you want, HTML or PDF. Uh, lists, pretty straightforward. So we want to do a bullet. There's our title. So bullet is just asterisk, bullet one, bullet two. Say we wanted a sub bullet, tab dash. Now it creates a uh, the next tier. That's readable. 